After you've gone through and adjusted the skin retouching, the color correction, and made some mouth and eyes adjustments to your image, there are still a couple of things like excess blemishes and under eye circles that you'd like to remove. Inside of Perfect Portrait, there's a retouch brush which allows you to do that. So once you have it selected, you'll see you have a couple different options inside of your toolbar. You can change the size, you can change the amount of feathering, and then you can also change the opacity. Right now, I have the opacity set to 53, and this is how I like to remove under eye circles. If you go ahead and raise this all the way up to 100%, and then try and move the under eye circles, a lot of times the people look a little bit like fake dolls. So by lowering it, you still keep some of the lines and some of the skin tones underneath without removing them completely. So all I need to do is go ahead and just sweep my brush underneath those eyes and you'll see it'll soften without removing completely. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on both sides right here and that looks a lot better. Now I can also go in, I'm going to go ahead and raise the opacity all the way up to 100% and I'm going to lower the size of my brush. I'm going to go in and I can start removing any of these blemishes that I don't like. All I need to do is just click and it will remove. If I make any mistakes, all I need to do is press Ctrl or Command Z and it'll remove whichever last retouch I tried to apply.